God lives and works today. He is a victorious, conquering God, and through Him we too may be conquerors over the bondages of our sins. Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called A Battle of Faith will show us how. How can I become free from my sins and bondages? Jesus Christ has the answer. He speaks to the miserable sinner who lies imprisoned in his chains of sin and doesn't know how to be released from them. He calls to him, If I make you free, you shall be truly free. Yes, Jesus' sacrifice is complete, so that the power of Satan and sin must flee from it. We have been redeemed so that we can reflect His image. Through His blood, we have been made completely free. Let praises ring and loudly say that Jesus' name has power to break apart the fearful chains of sin that bind us. But how do we find the way to this victory? How can we claim his salvation for our lives so that we actually become free from these bondages and sins? Through prayer, but not just a quick prayer when you feel in the mood to pray. No, it must be a prayer that is a struggle in faith, that battles as Jacob battled with the angel until he received the blessing. For sin is a poison that not only infects the entire body, but the soul and spirit as well. That's why our prayer against our sins can be nothing else but a real battle prayer. I recall a time in my life when I had to work and live with a person who was especially difficult for me to get along with. All of my outward efforts to be friendly and to do everything with love failed to bring about any change in my heart. Then I discovered something, the power of the name and blood of Jesus. I started to fight daily against this bitterness and lack of love in my heart by using the name of Jesus and calling upon the power of His blood. What happened? After a period of time, a little bit of love was born in my heart for this person. And a little while later, the person also began to change. However, this change came only through a battle, a battle of faith against my bitterness and my unloving heart. Today I can testify that Jesus makes us free, yes, really free from our sins and bondages. However, we have to be willing to battle for this victory. Even if our battles of faith last a long time, we may depend upon this fact, not Satan and all the powers of evil, not anger and worry, nor our passions or whatever it might be, will triumph in the end. No, there is one who is greater, there is one more powerful, our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives us the victory. Jesus Christ, the victor's name, every knee shall bend before you. Seated on the heavenly throne, all creation shall adore you. For your name such power You've been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. If this program has been a help to you, we would be happy to send you a free leaflet by the same author. Please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street. Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.